Hi, Cunningham Kids. Hi, Collicott Kids. Hi, Tucker Kids. And hi, Glover Kids. So today's project is paper candy corns. You will need a pair of scissors, a paper plate, yellow and orange paint, a paintbrush, a bowl of water, and some kind of a paint palette. I'm just going to use my folded up uh, paper towel right here. So we're going to start with our scissors and the plate. Okay, so I'm going to cut my plate into four sections and the four sections will look like triangles which of course look like the shape of candy corns. Okay, So if you feel more comfortable uh, drawing some lines on your plate to follow when you cut first, that's okay. I'm not going to draw lines, but if I were, I'm going to draw. I would draw a line right down the center of my plate and then across like that. And then you would cut them. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to cut halfway across my plate. And then cut this piece in half. And you could even cut the plate even further, like in half again. And then you get the candy corn shape. Okay, so there's two sizes. You could do it like this or like this. This kind of looks like pizza shape to me, like a slice of pizza. So I'm going to paint this one and this one. These two look the most similar to a real candy corn. So here's my paper towel as my palette, and candy corns are white, orange, and yellow. So I'm going to pour out some orange, and then some yellow, and you don't really need white paint because the plate is already white, but if you wanted to paint that section of the candy corn white, that's okay if you have white paint at home. All right, so... So the topmost part of the candy corn, I like to think of this part as the top. This part is yellow, the middle part is orange, and then the tip is white. So I'm going to do the yellow part first at the top. I think I'll, I'll paint a line to where I'm going to paint it down to. So I'm going to start at the top and then paint it right to here. So there's the yellow section. Clean up my brush, get ready for the orange. Okay. So I do orange to about there. So the only place that it's dry is where the white tip is, so I'm holding it there so I don't get paint on my fingers. And there is my paper candy corn. You can make as many of these as you want. I guess you could make probably eight pieces of these if you're using just a regular paper plate like I did. You'd have eight candy corns when you're done, so one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you'd have eight candy corns when you're done. And you can even attach string to your candy corns and sort of have like a candy corn garland and you could hang it up as decoration at Halloween. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this project. Have fun with it. And I will see you in the next video.